NASA shuttle mission STS-80, commanded by Story Musgrave, is still in orbit, unable to land because of bad weather on the ground. It's orbiting above Brazil when something totally incredible happens. The most extensive UFO footage ever made anywhere by anybody was made by that mission. You're going to see it in just a couple of minutes. I'll marry it for you as we go along. It's a truly remarkable piece of video. I showed it to NASA prior to my confirmation special in 1999, and you know what they said? Nothing on here looks like a UFO to us. Well, I beg to differ. Either these are things that NASA already knows about and won't tell us about, which I don't think, or they are intentionally covering up and simply refusing to address the issue of what these extraordinary phenomena are. Now, they're not the only ones. I have not been able to get any knowledgeable scientists to address the question of what this is because they can't lie about it. You'll see things that look like UFOs with pulsating lights moving under apparently intelligent control in this video. You'll see something coming up out of the city on the ground, out of Sao Paulo, Brazil. You just won't believe it. It's a truly incredible piece of video. I hope you find it as interesting and informative as I do, and as disturbing, because our scientists and the people we pay at NASA should be answering the question, what is this mystery? We come over South America, and we are so far nothing unusual in this video that faint line above the Earth is the top of the Earth's atmosphere. Those dots are stars, or that's all they appear to be as stars. And however, here's an interesting thing about this video, and you'll see later proof that they knew in advance what was going to happen. The video is being recorded by a camera that is normally used to observe the interior of the rear of the shuttle. This camera is not designed for what it's being used to do right now. Now the operator of the camera is intentionally moving it. He is going to center it on that strange object you see down there. All that is is the lights of the city of Sao Paulo, Brazil. I know that there have been uh, images of this on TV showing and claiming that that is uh, Denver, Colorado. It isn't. Uh, they said that I know the idiot who made the particular TV show that you're, I'm referring to, and he said it called it Denver because he thought that would be more interesting to people than calling it Sao Paulo. He didn't really care about the facts. In fact, it is Sao Paulo. And you notice the operator of the camera just moved in, and now he zooms in again on Sao Paulo. Now he is going to center this. And this is very interesting. Watch him center this in just a second. Someone is instructing him, or he's already been instructed, in just exactly what they need in order to see what's about to happen more clearly. It's quite amazing. Now he centers it, he moves it down, he is preparing us, preparing for something. Now watch closely because something extraordinary is about to happen here. Something truly amazing. Wow! What was that? What was that? Well, let's take a closer look right now. We'll take a closer look at it. And we've just slowed it. Look at that. What was that? Comes up out of the city, racing along. What could it have been? We have no idea. NASA said to me, it doesn't look like a UFO to us. It was a huge object. It must have been 10, 20 city blocks long, maybe a miles long. Now, this is... We're over... Uh, the uh, Brazilian rainforest is a massive storm system unfolding, and we will see occasional uh, little objects like that racing past. We don't know what that was. It's not on a trajectory. It's not a meteoric trajectory at all, and it's certainly moving a lot faster than any uh, than any uh, satellite would. There's another one also not on a meteoric trajectory. But watch now. Look at that. Dr. Jack Kasher, the physicist who studied so much NASA video, said that was the most unusual thing he'd seen on this video. NASA again said, ah, it's just normal. It's not normal. What is it? We have no idea. Now look, coming up 
in the lower right quadrant of the screen a pulsating lighted object moving toward the top edge of the Earth's atmosphere very slowly. We'll take a closer look at that object in a minute because that's a very, very unusual object, very, very strange object. It is not a tumbling piece of space debris, as you will see in just a moment, as it moves closer and closer to the... It's very far away, by the way. It must be hundreds of miles, possibly thousands of miles away. Now, there's another object slowly entering the Earth's atmosphere. Let's take a look at that object, that pulsating object, more closely. We're going to zoom in on it and take a closer look at it. You can see it highlighted there in the bottom of the screen. This is just a repeat of the image that we just saw, slowed down a little bit by the process of adding, uh, duplicating frames. Uh, there is no uh, enhancement of this at all taking place. Now you can see that object more clearly. Pulsating light, enormous pulsating light. This would be, this is not a satellite, n not a normal satellite. There is something else here. Is it something that we've put up? I don't know. I don't know if any of this is just we're observing an array of top secret military activity or aerospace activity. I don't know. But certainly, whatever we are observing is far, far from anything that is known publicly, even remotely, even by people like editors at James Aerospace Weekly and, and, and uh, various other defense-oriented magazines and publications whom I know personally, and in one case and in the case of Nick Cook, have interviewed on Dreamland. They know nothing about this. So what was it? Now we're going to go back and uh, look a little bit more. Uh, we are now over the... Uh, uh, back on the mission, and look, the, this, is, this zoom is from the shuttle. They're zooming in and on those three objects that you can barely see. They're struggling because this camera wasn't even designed to do this. They're using this camera on an ad hoc basis. But they knew, they knew beforehand that this would happen. Are we in contact with people from another world who were going to, to in, or do we know about missions that they occasionally engage in, and is that why the shuttle was doing this? There's an awful lot, an awful lot, that NASA is not telling the public, and that the government is not telling the public. This video is a testament to that fact, that undeniable fact, that either it's us or it's them, but one thing is quite clear, we're not being told.